All right, well, Dance Gavin Dance just happened in my ear holes. And I like it whenever they penetrate my ear holes. That's always a nice experience. Hello everybody, Adam here. I am a professionally trained audio engineer as well as metal guitarist. And today I'm going to be checking out and analyzing one of my absolute favorite bands on this planet. And that band is Dance Gavin Dance. They recently released a new song called Prisoner that I have not checked out yet. So this will be me, my first time listening to it. So I'm going to be checking out the production, the audio quality, and if I hear any cool like electric guitar work, then I might try to point that out too. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Dive right into this. Let's do it. Well, I like, I like it. I like it already. Electric guitar, left ear, right ear, huh? Great harmony vocals. Their mix is so full. Mm. Love Gillian's vocals. <laughs> <laughs> Anything John Mess does makes me laugh. The bass is really hot. It's right in the middle of the mix. But it's really loud, really prevalent. I really like it. Oh, great. This sounds amazing. Nice. I really like on this song, they didn't like, up Killian's EQ a shit ton like they did on this previous record. His breathiness was so bad on the last record. Sounds a lot better on this. Uh, left ear guitar work is really cool. It's really cool, like wah, wah pedal work. <laughs> this has the microphone chilling on his chest. <laughs> awesome effects on his voice there. I love the uh, delay and reverb on the intro of this tag. Great energy on this chorus. So, rhythm guitar, hard left, hard right. There's also some really cool, um, heavy affected uh, guitar work going on with wall pedal. And the left and right here too. Completely different things with the electric guitar, hard left, hard right. And the drum sounds super good too. That's an awesome modulation effect on the left ear. This music video is awesome. Two completely different guitar parts going on left ear right here. Something that Dance Gavin Dance is very known for. Is that it? Alright, well, Dance Gavin Dance just happened in my ear holes. And I like it whenever they penetrate my ear holes. That's always a nice experience. Alrighty. So, a lot to talk about here, of course. Let's talk about the electric guitar work and the production and how it all fit together. 
their main electric um, guitarist is so creative with his sounds. Actually, when I first started listening to this band, I thought they had a keyboardist and they were just doing some really janky crap on, on a keyboard, but no, it's just him. He just has a lot of um, pedals. He really, really understands effects, and that's what gives uh, Dance Gavin Dance a part of their core sound. And their other guitarist, I feel like, is as equally as talented with it. And I also just love what their music, and they've done this since the beginning of their career. They are so not afraid to have the electric guitar doing something in one ear, they're doing something completely different in the right ear, and having it just work musically. It also makes their music incredibly interesting uh, because it's not just the same rhythm part in left ear and right ear all the time like it is in normal metal music. They are so experimental with their chord shapes, with their riffing. Just everything about these guys is, is unique, but especially their electric guitar work. I love how they're not afraid to mix like really weird effects in together. Like doing the heavy modulation with a heavy wah pedal and like but like doing like really fast riffing at the same time. He, he just this band just has a very unique guitar style that's really only found in this band and that's a big reason why I love these guys so much. Electric guitar was generally panned hard left, hard right, had its own place in the mix, didn't cover anything else up. So it's a really good uh, mixing decision there. The bass was awesome. The bass was so good. It was so prevalent. It really carried, you know, all the underlying stuff that happens. Because the electric guitar work a lot of times is doing some pretty technical things, but the bass line can keep the song pretty chill or it can be emphasized with the kick drum. The way they write their electric bass stuff in coordination with their electric guitar stuff is just so good. And it was really, it was a really bright uh, electric bass tone as well. It had its own spot in the middle. It was really well balanced, really well EQ'd, fit amazingly well. Uh, let's talk about Tillian's vocals. Tillian's vocals sound so much better on this track than I feel like anything off their last record. He's already a breathy singer, so if he isn't a counter tenor, then he's definitely at least a high tenor. Then he only sings in mixed voice pretty much. When you sing in mixed voice, it's a combination of your head voice and your chest voice. But he sings with a lot of air, of air airiness in his sound naturally. And on the last record, they just EQ'd the hell out of the high end, like really the high end frequencies that it's supposed to be for air and for presence. They just boosted that up and he does not need that. He is already has so many like upper harmonics going up there because of how his voice naturally is and because of how he naturally sings. I really liked that he didn't sound like a breathy tornado. On this track, he sounded like a human. I really, so I thought that was a much better production decision. The drum sounded great. It had its own place. Everything uh, worked really well together. Kick drum, snare, vocals all sat on the same plane. Uh, we're all the same volume. So that's, you know, what you want in your metal song. Oh yeah, something that was very good. I really like how they mix their kick drum and their bass. You can hear both things very, very very well and they and one doesn't over dominate the other that's something that dance gavin dances producers have always done well and john mess is he's just a screamer who does his own silly thing i love i love the guy he's so funny <laughs> i look forward to every music video he's in uh his screams sounded really really good he's just He's just a high fry screamer. He only he only has that like one tone he does, but it fits so well in Dance Gavin Dance. Uh, it was like smack dab in the middle. I think the entire song, if I if I remember correctly, EQ'd really well. Uh, 
he had a lot of presence in his screaming. So I think he did, the, uh, the audio engineer did a really good job of mixing him. Him and Tillian uh, were both equal in volume, which is really important. Really, 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 really solid stuff. Just every time uh, Dance Gavin Dance puts out a new song, I'm always on top of it. They're a great band. So if you are enjoying the content I'm putting out, if you like my reactions and my other content, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to hit the sub button and the bell button. All that good stuff helps me out a lot. I do have a Patreon page. It is a top link in my description. I'm also doing some really big things with some cool Fiverr musicians right now. And so I can't wait to show you guys what I'm working on there. It's, it's going to be some really cool, solid content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.